this. A new wave approaching how you eat to slow down and even help put type 2 diabetes into remission. The brains behind the program, the author of Defeat Diabetes, is a doctor who says he turned around his own dire diagnosis with a low-carb diet. And I went back to eating probably the way that my parents and grandparents had eaten. Yeah. You might recognise this physician from his time as the Australian cricket team doctor. Peter Bruckner's own weight loss and pre-diabetes journey inspiring him to spread the word. Carbohydrates are the things that make you hungry. Fats and proteins are the things that fill you up. So Peter, like many of us, you were having cereal for breakfast. Yep, I'd have a big bowl of cereal every, every day, but uh, now I have one of two breakfasts. If I'm having a hot breakfast, I'll have yep. some... Uh, some eggs, I'll scramble or poached eggs with some bacon, maybe some avocados, yeah. some mushrooms, tomatoes, whatever. Um, or if I'm having a, uh, a cold, quick breakfast, uh, I might have some uh, a bit of full fat Greek yogurt. Uh, yep. I might have a bunch of uh, berries in there. Then I'll have some a mixture of nuts and seeds that I've made uh, made myself. Okay. And just uh, that sprinkle top. that on top. And that that and keeps you full all day. That keeps me going all day. Yeah. Peter lost 13 kilos in 13 weeks and says the low-fat diet that's dominated the way we eat has been wrong all along. And I've been preaching that for you know 30 years and uh, I feel terrible now that I've been give, had been giving the wrong advice for, for all that time. Now he's trying to right his wrongs with a book, an app and a website that turns the food pyramid on its head. Just eat real food. While the program has seen positive results in some participants, it isn't backed by the nation's peak independent body for diabetes. CEO of Diabetes Australia told A Current Affair there is no one-size-fits-all approach to reducing a person's risk of type 2 diabetes. As always, we encourage people to speak with their GP to ensure they're selecting health programs that are appropriate for their individual circumstances. It's really a diet. It's, it's just a change of eating habits. Overweight pretty much his whole life. Now at 67 years old, Shane Dobson says he's never felt better. I've lost 27 kilograms and I've never had as much energy as I've had now for 40 years, I think. The fittest, lightest and healthiest he's ever been. Shane and wife Betty have watched the kilos drop off one meal at a time. Well, I've had girlfriends go, oh, he, he's looking good now. <laughs> what do you think about Betty? Oh, uh, yeah, no, she's always looked good anyway, yeah. <laughs> I've lost 10 kilos. I'm probably down to the smallest size and clothing that I've been in probably 30 years. Losing weight wasn't the goal, but it's been a very nice side effect of this. A new wave approaching how you eat to slow down and even help put type 2 diabetes into remission. For moral support, Betty joined Shane on the Defeat Diabetes program, a low carbohydrate menu marketed to people teetering on the edge of developing type 2 diabetes and those already with it. I just thought I'd be on the, the high dose of medication all my life and, and it was going up all the time. Diagnosed type 2 16 years ago, Shane admits he wasn't managing it well. Yeah, we were eating plenty of pasta, plenty of rice, plenty of bread, potatoes, a vegetable, I, I'm thinking they're fine. Well, his doctor looked at him and said, I'm getting to the point now where I can't keep raising the medication. Mm. So Shane downloaded the program's app and says it's the best money he's ever spent. All my blood sugar readings are like below diabetic levels. They have been for 12 months. Rachel Hamilton says the low carb approach helped her manage her diagnosis. She became pre-diabetic while nursing her sick husband. I had no option at the time. My 24-7 was given to Phil. Rachel's health declining over the two years she cared for Phil, watching him die from brain cancer. Particularly in the last three months of his life, it would get to seven o'clock at night and we still hadn't eaten. So it, it very quickly became Uber Eats. 
Going from a diet high in processed foods, Rachel began making the low-carb substitutes. And within about a week, I was feeling great. I was not bloated, my stomach had gone down. I just want to shout it from the rooftops. I don't feel 67. 